Hello friends, welcome to the Smart Excel. This is a continuation of the second part where I showed you how to write different type of codes and how to have the steps for the vendor name and the site name. So there are different sort of tips uh, and tips and tricks also. So if you want, you can just uh, check the previous video how things have been taken into place and you can see the different sort of codes which have been written so now what i'm going to show you is how to convert how to take this into this data into a pivot table so that i can get the complete analysis so let's go to the end and uh, i have the database here so i'll be going it's close and load and uh, here I'm going to do is load to so it was only create connection so I'm going to do is pivot table not table pivot table and do ok so there is some error in this let's see which what is the error actually So if you have all the so all the things in the correct order. So rate quantity this is the whole number. And this So I have made two files, so let's see with this. So I'm going to load to and make a pivot table. So I want the table over here. Mm -hmm. you say okay. So this is the one which I did yesterday. 604 rows. So please refer to my previous code. This is the trial version. So anyhow. Now we want to have the data base ready. So what we will be taking is so we can make this into a data set or so we can take this in the rows and uh, vendors in the column. And here you can have different sort of data formation total first year total second year and total third year so in between if you want you can have quantity first year also the quantity will be here and uh, rate per person first year and in the same way you can have you can just expand this so you can have rate for second year and data for second year so here it will be like quantity third year and third year and status so i have all the things on my field so let's close this and uh, let's see so i want this to be in the middle so first of all i want to have this data in a tabular format so after i get in a tabular format i'm going to go to power pivot these options 
analyze options and uh, in options i would like to merge the cells in the middle so if you want if you want i can go into a deeper thing so i will be going to description so you can see in the description so now so if i what i'm going to just do is i can minimize this so i can see have a better view on this and uh, let's measure so now you can see there's a lot of empty empty things on the which it doesn't have value and all so to keep i don't want if you want to see that all the things in the data will have some sort of data term but this is you can see that it has uh, three to four time technical system electrical technical mechanical multi and all so first i want to keep the cursor here and view and freeze the pins and then i want to have a control it's some of I don't want to have anything, so I will replace all. It will be some of, so I will replace all with nothing. So once the replacement is done, we go to home. And here, if you want, you can, you can select the borders and uh, you can make a segregation. So now it's two empty lines. You can make a segregation. Now, for things which are empty, if you don't keep them empty, what you can do is you can go to analyze options and for empty cells you can select so now you can see you can change the database so you can change the whole database Control A and you can keep in the sequence. So now you can see that you can see this. So we have the things, in here. but now if you want to have a so you can see the site name is very down. So if you want to have a site name repeat also you can do that you just go to and then i i go to design and you can see so you can just repeat all item labels so it's not repeating anyhow so just go to the sheet over here and repeat this so you can get the site name also this is the site name. Yeah. So I made it into merge by the help of this uh, option merge cell center. Otherwise, again and again, it would have been joining things. So now, anyhow, we have the database here. It's a pretty lengthy one, but you have all the things on board. So if you think there's a duplication or something like that, you can go to the main sheet and if you have a common you know, a common factor, the things will be in the same line. So, so you got the database uh, now and you can make an analysis and if you want, you can 
have a field list and you can remove the description so you will just give the totals so you can see the totals but if you want to drill down again you can go to and have a description now after you get a description if you want to have see the subtotals so you can see you can it keeps on changing so if you want you can have a subtotal you can go to <coughs> this is the event is short subtotals at the bottom of the group or top of the group <coughs> so i prefer bottom of the group and, and again you have to do is just keep on changing this So you can see the subtotal here. So if you remove the description, you don't have subtotal. But when you have a description, you you can add a subtotal. So this is the way we can make the things you know very particular for Power Query and from Power Query to Power Pivot. So we can see all my vendors are there. So I don't want to waste time in doing all this. If you don't want, you can just remove that total grand total and all. So you can go to design. design and uh, only for columns so we can remove the grand totals also so i hope you find this video useful and uh, you you can understand how to convert a pivot table um, data so power query into a pivot table so in the next video i'll be showing you that if you are not good in writing formula or something if you have uh, if you can't uh, write this formula, even if you don't write this formula, how to remove the blanks through data models by adding to data models? So, so I would like to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and please subscribe to my channel and please hit the bell icon. And let's see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.